Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to this tutorial series. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own database and how to connect it with your Discord bot error free. Why would you need a database? Let's say for example, if you create a um, warning command, you would want all the warnings history to be stored in the database so you can pull them out later and execute your moderation work. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is actually create an account on MongoDB's website. Um, the link for it is going to be down in the description. Uh, once you are at this page, press this green icon right there and uh, input all of the information required for you to create an account, then hit the green icon and then you will be sent um, an email to verify that it's your email account, uh, just click on it and uh, continue. Alright, so once this page has loaded up, you will see your organization and project, name the organization whatever you want and then you can change the project name, I'm gonna put it to be Lexcode Database and then what is your preferred language, I put it at JavaScript, then hit continue. Alright, so now that uh, the Deploy Cloud Database uh, page is up, press on create on the shared option because it's free here you will select your provider i recommend using amazon uh, web services and then for the region use the closest region to where your discord bot is hosted in my case i'm gonna use frankfurt because i live in europe and the only thing else that you need to change is the cluster name name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it uh, Lexcode dp and then hit the green icon which says create cluster all right so now the database deployment page is loaded up you need to wait between one to three minutes as this states right here for your database to be created so wait the three minutes and we'll come back all right so now the database deployment is loaded up we're gonna press on connect on the left hand side and now the first option is called add a connection IP address. So if you're hosting your bot on your own system, add your current IP address. But if you're using a provider and know their IP address, press the middle option there and add their IP address to the addresses that can access the database. But if you don't know that provider IP, just press allow access from everywhere and then add IP address. Now you need to create a database user, the admin user, I'm gonna create one uh, with the username Lix and then a the password, um, I recommend using a strong password but for the sake of tutorial I'm just gonna create a quick password and then hit create database user, now choose a connection method. Now here you should see a couple of options, select the middle option where it says connect your application and you should see a large link over there, just copy it and now we're gonna be downloading our database viewer. So the database viewer I'm going to be using is called Robo3T, I'm going to leave the link for it down in the description. Once you're in this page, go down to the right and press download Robo3T only because that's the only thing that you need. Once it's downloaded, it's a simple installation process. Go ahead and open it and it should look like something like this. Now if you go up to the left, press file and then press connect, then create a new connection. Uh, you can name the connection whatever you want, I'm gonna name it uh, list code uh, database uh, basically. Uh, and then we here you're gonna paste the link that we copied from the MongoDB website over here, just copy all of it and uh, paste it over there. And we're gonna change a couple of stuff, so the first thing that we're gonna change is where it says password over there. You need to put your user, your admin user password, so I'm gonna go ahead uh, and do it real quick. And uh, now you need to change the database name to the actual name of the database that you created. So like you see here, my first database, you need to delete that and change that to, to be the name that uh, you named your database. Like you see here, Lakescode DP. Uh, so if you go back, uh, you can just change it real quick. And now that's done, press from SRV and it should get all the information necessary to connect. Now press save and connect and up to the left now after a couple of seconds you should see the database loaded up. So this is uh, how it uh, should look like, it's pretty empty now because we didn't put any anything else in it. So now the next step uh, would be is uh, to connect our Discord bot with our uh, uh, database. So go back to the connect menu, copy that link uh, and now hit your visual studio code. If you go to our config.json file, here I'm gonna delete this, this line real quick. Uh, you're gonna create a new value and you're gonna call it dp url or you can call it whatever you want and make sure you remember the name. Uh, and inside the value of that name, uh, you're gonna put the link and you can do the same thing change the password to your actual password and change the database name to the actual uh, database uh, name that you created. Uh, and you should be set up for now. Now, if you go to our terminal, uh, you will need to download a new package and the package's name is going to be called Mongo, so type npm 
I mongoose inside our terminal then hit enter and the package should be downloaded so now inside of our MV events uh, folder we're gonna go inside the client uh, and then select the ready.js and in this file we're gonna be connecting our database so the first thing that we need to do is actually define or import um, uh, mongoose so we're gonna go ahead and type const mongoose equals to require mongoose and in the line under it we're gonna require the database url that we put inside of our configuration file so we type const and we leave the object empty for now and then require uh, the config uh, file wherever you have it um, and then we're gonna select the database url that we created from that file now we're gonna do, go down a couple of lines and uh, here we're gonna uh, check if you don't have the url we're gonna just return so if exclamation mark dp url we're gonna basically return so it doesn't give any errors uh, and now in the line under it we can actually connect so we type uh, uh, mongoose.connect uh, and here we're gonna pass in the IP, the url so dp url put a command and open up an object uh, and here we're gonna allow a couple of stuff so the first thing that we're gonna be allowing is use a new URL parcel. We're gonna set that to true, uh, and then uh, use unified topology. We're gonna set that to true, and now here use uh, find uh, or yeah and uh, modify. We're gonna set that to true, and then on the line over here we're gonna type dot then. Then we're gonna open up a quick arrow function. Um, here we're gonna console dot load that the database is now connected. So type the client is now connected to the database um, we're gonna add a quick emoji uh, I like emojis as, as you know from what you know from watching my episodes and now on the line under it we're gonna type dot catch so if an error happens we're gonna catch error so dot catch error uh, we're gonna create an error function uh, sorry let's uh, it's missing one whatever you call them uh, now uh, and here we're gonna type console.log error so we console.log the error and this should be it actually so now if we go to our terminal and type uh, node dot and we should see that the client is now online and we should see the print where it says the client is now uh, connected to the database so this is it guys hope you uh, enjoyed the episode hope you found it informative in the next episode hopefully we're going to be utilizing this database in our in new commands uh, yeah see you guys in the next episode